Okay, I have uh, American Pacific CEO, Walworth Smith here. Welcome, Walworth. Thank you, Chen. Appreciate you having me on. Yeah, great. I, first, I want, I just saw this fantastic news and uh, the Plus Global Metal nominate you as the CEO of the year. Next to uh, Cola, you know, the Posco, all these are very, very big major mining companies. Congratulations. How did you get there? <laughs> Thanks very much. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm obviously thrilled with the, uh, with the nomination. Um, Adam, Adam Bello, who's been a, uh, who's been helping us with our public relations since, since the get-go was a, uh, a big hand in, in making that happen as well. Um, look, it was a big year, 2021, as we've talked about, was a, was a big year for American Pacific. Uh, the Wall Street Journal uh, Gold Index ranked us as the number one performing gold stock. Uh, and I certainly think that helped. Uh, so yeah, it's a it's a phenomenal it's a phenomenal nomination. Um, humbling, <laughs> we'll say. <laughs> um, yeah, being being uh, being next to Alcoa and the um, core mining and Zen Zinc and you know major mining companies um, who obviously have very uh, very well thought of and high powered CEOs. Being next to them is a uh, it's certainly an honor, without doubt. Yeah. Yeah, most companies are 10 to 100 times, if a hundred times of your market cap. That's a very, very significant. Yeah, do you know what, when they, Yeah, when they, do they going to announce the results? And when we know whether you will, would be the CEO of the year? <laughs> <laughs> I, do, I, fully, I fully suspect that I won't win, but, uh, but I'll, be, I'll be even more shocked if I do. I felt like the nomination was a win uh, to begin with. Um, it's, a, it's a black tie dinner that's held in London, England. Um, this is the 10th anniversary of it. Uh, it's on October 27th. You know, we're, we're nominated in five categories this year, um, you know, including uh, it, it references sort of up and deal coming. Deal of the year. Yeah, yeah deal of the year, um, uh, up and coming companies, um, uh, gold company, base metals company, et cetera. So look, it's, it's, a, uh, it's a great achievement. And I think it's a, uh, you know, it's a testament to the whole team and, they, uh, and, and the hard work that's been put in this year. And yeah, we're we're certainly looking forward to it, and, and hopefully we walk away from that with a uh, with at least one award. Wow, wonderful! So we'll hopefully we'll hear some good news by the end of October. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So from now to October, I mean, you're very cash out. Uh, congratulations for a recent raise of a dollar. You know, just before the market turn, you seem to have a very good sense where the market is heading. <laughs> so you load up the money before we return, and then what's your plan? And yeah. what's going to happen in the next few months? Yeah, there's a lot going on, Shen. Look, we have over ten million dollars in cash. We're in a really, really strong position from from that standpoint, which is, I think, where you really need to be uh, in these types of markets. You want to be uh, cash rich, uh, and you want to be get out and be aggressive, uh, create a lot of news, even in these tough markets. But having the the cash and the opportunity to do that is is certainly a big deal. We're drilling as we speak at Tuscarora. I think we're on hole twenty one now. Um, I spoke to the uh, spoke to the, uh, Zach, who's been doing our drilling yesterday. Um, so I'm excited about that. I'm so excited to get results out there. We did a um, we did a CSAMT as well, which highlighted two really exciting targets for us. So the drill we completed a hole yesterday, and now we're moving on to those CSAMT targets to put some holes in there. That's exciting. Um, they look, you know, South Navajo is the one that's uh, the, the vein that has had the most work done on it, the highest grades on it. And it looks from the CSAMT like like South Navajo, but bigger. Let's hope that's the case. Drilling will prove that out or, or otherwise. So we're excited about that. Well, that'll go to about mid-August. Mid and then we're going to move that drill over to Gooseberry. We're going to drill at those new veins that we've seen on the CSAMT up in Gooseberry as well. Uh, so we'll be creating news up there also. Uh, we're very, that, you know, that's, that's a project that is probably the least advanced of the three main projects that we have, but the one that could be big. Um, I mean, they all have the opportunity, but this is the this is this is sort of a fresh one to go after. Really excited about that, so we'll get going on that. And then um, uh, Rio Tinto uh, will be down on Madison in short order as well, driving that project forward. So there's an awful lot going on. South Lida, we put out a press release that we've done some work there. We're going to update a 43101, look to joint venture that out. Also, busy summer <laughs> to say the least. Good to be busy. Um, yeah, good to be busy. Uh, good to have the capital to be able to do all of this and, and still have as much capital as we need for next year as well. So we're in a good, strong position. Good, good. So when do you see some drilling results will start to come out? 
Short order. Yeah. I mean, you know, as usual, the labs are taking are taking a while, um, but I would imagine uh, in the case of Tuscarora that it won't be too long now. It's all. Uh, and then when we drill over at Gooseberry, we're going to use a, a different lab that can be a bit quicker. Uh, so we'll see results out of that fairly quickly as well. That one's the 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 drilling at Gooseberry is um, a little bit easier in terms of um, in terms of assays, just because it's basically you know you go through dead rock, you hit you hit the you hit the vein, and then you're into dead rock again. So you know exactly where you want to get an assay, and, and so it's a lot less um, to rush those assays than it is the longer ones at Tuscarora, where you can get lower grade sections the whole way through, and then get a big you know. Ideally, you get a high grade hit and then into lower grade again. So those take a bit longer. The ones at Gooseberry are, are a bit quicker. Uh, but yes, short order, we should have results out there. All right, good, good. You mentioned that the, the money kind of has to make you a very long runway. So you think uh, you, you have uh, your money funded into next year or the towards the Without end doubt. of year? Or yeah. The yeah, we, we have enough capital that could take us through next year. So we've got, we've got a, and, and with doing a lot of work along the way as well. Look, we're, we're, we do our best to do a lot of drilling, but in a cost-effective manner so that the money lasts. Again, in these markets, I think it's important to be cashed up, to have that ability to ride this out, but create a lot of news at the same time. That's what we're looking to do. Well, good, good. And then and you mentioned a little bit, real start drilling. So what, what are they looking for? Uh, they, they find the, the main target? Yeah, so the, fir the first thing they're going to do, Chen, is they're bringing in this world-renowned SCARN specialist, basically to help them target where they want to drill. You know, we had, if this is the SCARN as, as we knew it before, drilling went through, hit a, 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 second, a second big hit down here last year. So the obvious, the obvious target is in between the two. That was the thinking. They want to bring in this SCARN specialist to give them an idea of, does this make sense? Are we looking at a second SCARN so that they're stacked? or do they connect, is this one, et cetera, et cetera. So once this gentleman's come in, basically given a full review, he's gonna review all of the core that's been drilled previously, be on site, I think he's there for two weeks. He'll give a full report, and then they'll plan out their drill program as to where, as he helps out as to where they should target. You know, we'd like to see them take some deep shots at the porphyry as well. Uh, so we'll see if that's this year, or perhaps that's next year, we're, we're unsure at this moment. Uh, but obviously that's a, uh, that holds a lot of intrigue and excitement. The best part of it, I mean, there's been a lot of good parts about working with Rio, um, but one of the one of the great parts is they found real interest in this SCARN uh, and feel that the SCARN itself could be a Rio Tinto size target. Um, that's exciting for us. That's near surface. It's a uh, it's easier exploration. So yeah, we're excited for a uh, to have this SCARN specialist in and see what he has to say. Well, excellent. And all these drilling are funded by Rio, right? They have uh, they committed twenty million for this. Total. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So they can earn 70% of the project by spending 30 million US. Uh, I believe they spent 6.88 million US so far, or roughly that number. Okay. Um, so there's a lot of capital there here over the next few years for them to get out and aggressively go after this. It's worth mentioning as well. I mean, if this is our project, they've staked all around us as well, much significant to make it significantly larger. We know they were drilling on those projects last year and believe they were having good success. Success on that uh, ground outside of ours is success for us as well because they'll they'll want it all. So we're excited about that. And they also did that deal with the U.S. Geologic Survey where they're flying that whole area of Montana looking for porphyry. So they're committed to to Montana as a whole. It's exciting for us. You know, it's a uh, it's a great partnership. Uh, it's a chance to really drive a project forward without having to spend our own capital so that we can focus our funds elsewhere. Wow! Excellent! Excellent! And that was your deal of the year, right? <laughs> <laughs> that was certainly our deal of the year, without a doubt. And we'll see if it's s and Global Plus. All right. Well, good, good. Well, excellent, excellent. Thank you for the update. It looks very exciting. Look to have everything lined up. You don't need to raise money. You have a lot of results coming and a lot of excitement coming in the next few months. I think, you know, and to your point, just off the hop, you mentioned about a, um, you mentioned about the s and Global Plus thing. I mean, I... I the S and P Global Plats is, you know, it's a world, world renowned platform. They've, you know, they've got a couple thousand employees, and they're they're all over all over the globe. It's going to be, you know, even just the nominations alone, it's a big spotlight for us. So we were nominated for Deal of the Year, CEO of the Year, Rising Star Company, Industry Leadership for Precious Metals, and Industry Leadership for Base Metals as well. So I mean, it's a it's a fulsome uh, suite of nominations. 
Uh, I think on from from a, a publicity standpoint for the company, I think it's phenomenal. Uh, and and certainly, you know, as we as we go into it, we'll start we'll start talking about it to, uh, more and more here as we get closer to the time. So yeah, it's a uh, it doesn't hurt, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very exciting. I hope to hear some good news in October. I hope so too. You, hope you're so going too. to be in London, black tie, or that's the plan. Up, yeah, with, with yeah. The, I um, didn't. I didn't like I, Oscar. The, not yeah, the, the Oscar goes to. <laughs> funnily, funnily enough, they they refer to it as the as the Oscars of mining. So you're you're exactly right. Yeah. So Eric and I will put the black ties on and they, uh, and head down for sure. All right, great. Congratulations. It's, a, it's actually what one of the great things about it is it's a great chance to do some marketing because there's lots of funds in in London, so we can go see them face to face. And also, then you're in a room with with all those uh, uh, those big corporates and a lot of the funds as well. So yeah, it's a good marketing opportunity to to shake some hands and tell the story. Great. Excellent. Congratulations. Thank you, Chen. I appreciate the time as always. All right. Oh, hope to hear more and then bigger news later. Yes. Look forward to it. <laughs> <laughs>